if you're thinking about building a deck, you're in the right place. This isn't a how-to video. This is a should-you video. I'll share a few things that I learned along the way with this DIY deck build that I'm just wrapping up, which was a little tougher because I had to tie an old deck into a new deck. But that's a story for another day. So first, if you're thinking about building a deck, keep in mind you're building for decades. The deck should last 20 to 40 years. Our original deck on the house is 40 years old and it needs a couple boards, but it's fine. You're making a long-term commitment and a huge improvement to your home. With that, it's going to take some time. Between work, family, life in general, and the weather, it's not going to go as fast as you hope. Mine took about three times as long as I expected. For example, when the week my lumber showed up, we had a rainy season, a very rainy season for us, and I lost literally weeks worth of, of work time uh, on this project. And I wasn't going to go run power tools out in the rain, so that's just the way it was. So keep in mind, it's going to take a while, and really kind of think about how that affects the yard and your use of the, any doors or things like that. And it's more complex than it looks on the surface. I've done a lot of little DIY projects, nothing quite to this scale, but there are so many things that have to be just right in order for it to be a sturdy build. Your, your ledger board has to be a certain way. Your, your deck boards have to be a certain way. It just goes on and on and on and on. So there's a pretty good learning curve to this. Uh, and the way I went defeated the learning curve was, frankly, watching a lot of YouTube videos. I may have watched 100 videos. And I started with the sort of general 15, 20-minute videos, start to finish. Those are good to give you perspective, but they don't really tell you how to build a deck. And then I went into the real specific ones, like this is how you do a ledger board. This is, this is how to do proper footing. This is how to do your posts. Then there are videos in each one of those little segments, and I found those immensely helpful. Dr. Dax would be the best one that I saw, although there were several that were great, and I wouldn't limit myself to just one because they all have their little perspective and, and have some tips. If you break it down into those smaller parts, you'll be fine. My mantra for the project was square, level, and sturdy. And if you do all three of those things each step of the way, you're going to end up with an awesome deck. Square, level, sturdy. Square, level, sturdy. Like that ledger board I talked about, if it wasn't all three of those things, there would have been a disaster down the road. If it wasn't sturdy, it'd eventually pull out. And a little, little fun fact, more decks fail at the ledger board than any other place. They pull out from the house when they fail uh, and collapse. One of the reasons my deck build went well is I had a professional plan done. I worked off a professional plan that was designed for my area. Yes, code for my area. If you think about it, a deck in Duluth, Minnesota, is going to need to hold up for the speed of snow without collapsing. A deck in LA has got to hold up to an earthquake and not collapse. Get a professional plan, either an off-the-shelf plan designed for your area or adjusted for your area, or a custom plan, which is what I did, that worked out really well. So good luck. I, I hope you enjoy it. I found it equal parts frustrating and rewarding. I hope you do too. Thanks.